Hello everybody. It's been a while since Heartland has wrapped up its season 15 and left us all feeling a little bit bland about what to expect from the new season. Since 2007, the show has been one of the vital parts of our entertainment experience. Even though the majority of the 2000s shows are mocked these days for their lack of social awareness and being offensive to multiple groups of people in every way possible, Heartland has somehow managed to be different from the others and stand the test of time. The series has always been somewhat of a cutie. We believe the best way to define the entire Heartland experience is to call it a wholesome show. Don't get us wrong, this series isn't a sugar-coated fairy tale where only good things happen. On the contrary, Heartland has always been great at portraying the realities of life through its characters, all of whom are realistic figures with highly relatable issues. However, the one great difference that Heartland presents is the fact that all of its characters are people who are always trying to do their best even at the worst times. This is something many series lacking as it's often challenging to not slip into the dark side. As human beings, we also struggle to stay on the right track the majority of the time. So, Watching a set of characters who are all doing their best at all times is often inspiring and encouraging for us to do the same. That's why we regard Heartland as a wholesome series with lots of positivity and hope in it. But, this also means that whenever something bad happens, we got upset twice as much as we get upset in any other show. Why? Well, because we care more about the Heartland characters than we care about the rest of the characters on TV. Since these people prove to be worthy of the good things, we struggle to accept that bad things happen to them. That's why when Ty Borden died, it caused massive outrage among the fan base. We all know that death is a natural part of life and every one of us will experience it one day. We also know that Heartland is a pretty realistic show with realistic portrayals. Still, when our favorite character died and left our other favorite characters in grief, we had a really difficult time acknowledging this. It took us almost two years to come to the terms with the fact that Heartland will no longer have Ty Borden as a character. One way to cope with this process for us was to pretend as if Heartland has moved into Chapter 2. That's to say, we decided to pretend that we have watched the first part of Heartland for about 14 years, which was focusing the life of Amy and Ty together. Starting from Season 14, though, we have transitioned into Chapter 2 of the show, where Amy moves on to her life alone with new experiences. Unfortunately, though, neither Season 14 nor Season 15 were good and strong enough to present a new arc for Amy. Instead, they were merely continuations of Amy's mourning and grief after Ty, which was simply annoying to watch since we couldn't stand to see her sad at all times. But, we're hopeful from season 16 of the show to achieve what we have been craving for the past two years and establish a brand new arc for Amy which will change everything in the series. The biggest change that we expect in season 16 is to see Amy get a new career path. We all know and love the fact that Amy is obsessed with horses and is doing a great job in treating them. However, in season 15, we saw that she also loves to make shows with the horses that entertain the people. She even had the opportunity to join a carnival group that travels the globe making shows, but she chose to stay in Heartland, get married and have a baby which required her to have a more stable occupation. Still, it's apparent that her dream to become an entertainer is still valid and she has never been more available to pursue such a career path. As a woman in her early 30s, she is still very much young and her little daughter is now big enough to go to the daycare. This means that she will have more time than before and can focus on doing new and exciting things. Of course, it might take time for her to travel around to do her show. But we believe season 16 might be a good starting point for her new journey that will excite not only us but also Amy and her family. Another important change in the show will probably be Amy's welcoming of a new boyfriend into her life. It's a well-known fact that Ty was the love of Amy's life. But this doesn't mean that she has to be alone for the rest of her life as a young and beautiful woman. We believe Ty would have wanted to see Amy happy, enjoying her life by falling in love again. That being said, it's very challenging to fill the shoes of Ty as he was almost perfect. Thus, show owners have to work a lot on this new character to make sure fans adore him. Our biggest candidate for such a position is the grandson of Jack's old friend who recently moved to Hudson and has a very obvious crush on Amy. We believe Amy is fancying him as well, which is likely to turn into a romantic relationship soon. And yet, we believe Amy will prioritize this man's approach to Lindy more than anything else, which will be the main determinant of whether these two will end up together or not. What are your expectations from Heartland Season 16? Do you think the show will be the same after Amy has gone through all these changes? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.